top of the morning to y'all. Welcome back, Captain Code of RC. Uh, as you all saw in the last video, uh, unfortunately, I finally fell victim to the Spectrum Electronic Curse. And I'm sorry I couldn't get the video up in time, or get running in time, but unfortunately, rain hit. As you see, I got the Max 8 in her now, running on 4S. And I know I said last week I was going to only run the 15 tooth pinion. I decided to change my mind. I got I did a little bit more dremeling on the chassis. Uh, the hard part about doing the chassis, uh, making the motor mount fit a 16 tooth, is you got to do some dremel work right here because the uh, motor mount has three bolts that go into it. One from the bottom. And then these two on top. <clears throat> hey, yo, gooses, what's up? Hey, you want to know one thing about the Canada gooses? They take big old Canada deuces. So watch your step when you see them flying, y'all. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> yep, we got the MT-8 out. You know the drill. Max 8, 4S LiPo, Spectrum 2050 KV motor. Uh twin NHX uh, 30 millimeter high speed fan I got another 30 millimeter uh, 35 millimeter nitro hobby uh, fan in there too <clears throat> so once I turn this thing on it, it's loud you can't you won't be able to hear me talk very well yeah you know when your fans are that noisy you're moving some air <clears throat> And that's how I keep my electronics cool. Uh, and if anybody's wondering, the reason why I like to run two fans, I may have said this before, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it over and over. I run a twin fan system because every once in a while you have a fan fail. And sometimes when a fan fails, they'll really shorten your run time. Well, in this system, you have two fans. If one fan fails, one's still going. So you, you can still go. You're good to go. All right, y'all. Enough babbling. I'm sure you're all ready to see how this thing runs. Can't tease it like that anymore. Whoop. So much traction on this green uh, hydro seed. So much traction. Oof. Better not drive off this yet before I figure out what's going on. Ah, not a good run up. Not a good run up over here. All right, uh, let's go hit up this little jump like I was doing last week. Good Lord. Steering got knocked loose. <laughs> nope, wrong way. Man, I've been needing to get this problem sorted out for a while. And I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. I just haven't done it. Yeah. 
Oh, this Max 8 system is so much nicer than the Spectrum. It feels so much more controlled. Oh, barely got that. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Holy shit, this thing is just running great. Well, besides the steering. Holy shit, you guys. Oh no, I'll be right back. I'm gonna let these people go ahead and go by with their dog. I gotta get this steering problem fixed now that this thing's all this powerful. Good Lord. Why didn't I put this Max 8 system in this car sooner? Uh oh. What the fuck just happened? No. Alright y'all. For a second I was about to get really pissed off and just throw a complete and utter tantrum. Like, I was about to fucking just go off. Uh, found the problem. These motor wires on this, you can see they're so short, right? You all see that? Yeah, that ain't supposed to do that. So I got some wiring to do. Actually, in fact, I don't, I don't think I need to do wiring. I just need to change the motor out. <laughs> uh, dang it. That sucks. At least I got some really darn good footage of this car for, uh, for today. Um, it sucks that happened. When I was doing this yesterday and putting it together, I kind of was thinking to myself, I really need to do something about this. Uh, 
wiring because it's so short. Then I thought to myself, nah, it'll be all right. I've seen worse. Oh, it came back to bite me in the ass. It sure did. Uh, but luckily, I got some really good footage. Almost went through two battery packs. Almost. Uh, man. That sucks, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm not having the best of luck for the past month or so. Huh? Ah, it's all right. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, you guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for liking, subscribing, doing all what you do. If you all have any questions about the system that was running good until some wiring let go on the motor part, which actually may have been the entire problem with the Spectrum. I bet you this was the problem with the Spectrum motor that was coming undone and losing its connection. Anyways, you guys, like I said... I got to get this fixed. That's clearly a problem. This may have been the problem with the Spectrum. So we'll get this looked at. I'll get this taken care of. Probably swap in a different motor because I'm lazy and I don't want to do the wiring at the moment. I hate soldering. Uh, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to swap the motor out for something else. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure that'll be fine and fun. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate everybody who's like, comment, subscribe, and all the videos. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment below. I'll be sure to answer them. Hey, if you just want to call me a big, fat, silly goof, then go right ahead because I sure am a big, big, fat, silly goof. Sometimes this big, fat, silly goof can't even talk English well. Words are hard, y'all. Words are hard. Anyways, y'all have yourself a blessed week. Take care. Love y'all. Catch y'all next time. Captain Kudov, over and out, y'all.